What's going on guys, it's Unchained here, and uh, we're going to be unboxing Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. The Ultimate Evil Edition. Woo! Yeah, that's my Xbox One with my Seagate drive on it. It's pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and put the phone here. It's not too bad for videos. My room isn't that bright, so it might not look the best. But yeah, you got the beautiful film that goes around every game box. Man, I'm going to miss this when uh, games go all digital. It's more convenient, because these days you have to install stuff, so it's better to have digital, because you don't have to find your disc in order to play a game. But, uh, this will never get old. It will never get old, taking the plastic wrap off a game. So yeah, it's got that new game smell, just like they all do. Check out the back of the box. It's pretty sweet. Most games on the Xbox One that I've seen... They haven't really had interesting backs. I think developers are starting to get lazy with it, too. They just don't feel like putting artwork on the back. But this one actually has some pretty nice pictures. Like, if I walked in the game store and I uh, checked out this game, I'd honestly consider buying it. All right, let's open it up. And just like every Xbox One game, the disc is on the left, and some probably some dumb code is on the right. No manuals anymore. It continues the trend with this game. So what is this stuff? Uh, claim your in infernal pauldrons. I know the PS4 version had some PS4 content, I think from The Last of Us or something. This might be something to do with uh, Microsoft exclusive content. Join Battle.net. That's kind of cool, actually, because Battle.net is a PC thing. So uh, they really should have cross-platform play. But it's okay. Close enough. So we're going to be doing a first impressions video once I get a couple hours in. Thanks for watching.